Hey, how's it going? John Dorsey here. Uh, we're trucking with John D. I know I've been gone for a while. I put up some videos here and there, here and there, but I've been busy for the past, I don't know, nine, eight, nine months. You know, really just putting in the work. Uh, you know, I leased on to a carrier, and things have been going really, really well. And so I didn't really feel the I've been so busy, just didn't feel like putting up videos, but I'm going to try to get more consistent, putting up more videos, just sharing the little bit of knowledge I have about trucking and truck maintenance and stuff like that. You know, just to give you a little backstory, I've been driving trucks since, <clears throat> I don't know, i got probably about nine years experience, but I've been driving trucks off and on since 2001. Um, so, you know, and in between that time, you know, I started off as a diesel mechanic. And then went to drive a truck and then went back to being a diesel mechanic, truck, diesel. So I've been flip-flopping all over the place. You know how, you know, us truckers are job hoppers. But I've been pretty consistent with the trucking thing for a little bit now. And, uh, but what I want to touch on in this video is truck mileage. Because uh, I hear a lot of guys put a lot of emphasis on, or a lot of concern about trucks with, what they would say is high miles, you know, 500,000 miles, 600, 700,000 miles. A lot of guys are afraid of those kind of trucks because they consider that a high mileage truck. Now, yes and no. You got to look at truck mileage as in, you could compare truck mileage to, let's say 300,000 miles on a truck is comparable to 30,000 miles on a car. Because let's not forget that these big trucks, these road trucks, are uh, pretty much 80 to 90 percent highway miles so you know a hundred thousand miles 120 thousand miles on a big truck is similar to 12,000 to 20 thousand miles on a car so that's really not that bad you know considering that cars most of their miles is stop and go city traffic miles which is more wear and tear on the engine so if you got a million mile truck that's similar to a hundred thousand mile car just like so that's so that's the way of looking at it. You know, very few people want to risk buying a car with 100,000 miles on it just because the miles are so high, it might have a lot of maintenance issues. Same with a big truck. If it has a million miles on it, there's a chance that it might have more maintenance issues than a truck with 200 or 300,000 miles. While that's not necessarily true in every case, you know, you can have a 200,000 mile truck and that thing's in the shop every six months. You can have a million mile truck and you might see the shop once a year. You know, it just depends on how it was treated, you know, who, basically how it was treated, how it was maintained. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors that play into, uh, a tr you know, maintenance or, or wear and tear or how reliable a truck is. It could be, it's, it's so many factors that plays into how reliable a truck is. It's hard to even say what one person should do or consider in reference to what truck works best for them and their operation. So a good rule of thumb, at least starting off, is to, is to look at truck mileage, you know, truck mileage as being, uh, you know, for every 100,000, you know, like I said, 100,000 miles is like 10,000 miles on a car. So if you got a 700,000 mile truck, that's probably, you know, look at it as that's 70,000 miles on a car, which is on the high side, depending on the year, you know, so you can do the math. If you got a 700,000 mile truck, but it's 10 years old, that's low miles, you know, because you figure if you're doing 100,000 miles a year, uh, in 10 years, that truck should be at a million miles. So if you got a 10 year old truck, but only has uh, 700,000 miles, so that means that truck's mileage is below average. So it still has some life in it, can, potentially, you know, that something can go wrong with the truck in two weeks. We don't know. You don't know. It's a machine. Stuff can break at any time. I've bought and I've bought and <laughs> I've bought not truck related but just say i've bought stuff brand new and the thing broke within hours of me buying it and had to take it back to the store because it was a machine it was a piece of equipment it was man-made so it's hard to say oh this truck has seven hundred thousand miles nine hundred thousand miles five hundred thousand miles it's probably going to be in the shop all the time yes and no you know when i was a mechanic we dealt with trucks all the time i mean brand new trucks was in the shop old trucks was in the shop i mean that's just the way it is i mean trucks break and i've driven trucks 
for, you know, I had a truck with one company that had, I got the truck that had a million miles on it. I think 1.1 million. And I drove that truck for a year and a half, two years without any major, the only major thing that happened to that truck when I was driving it was a, a front leaf spring broke and the AC went out. But other than that, I didn't have any real serious issues with the thing. You know, it was pretty reliable. Uh, it was well maintained by the company. And that's probably why they held on to it because they it was more it was a benefit into having or running that truck as long as possible. And I still that company is close to where I live and I still see that truck on the on the road to this day. And this this was like two, three years ago. So that truck has to have almost <laughs> almost close to two million miles on it and it's still on the road. So if you have the money, I think getting a, a, a older truck a high mileage truck and but I mean by high miles I mean over 500,000 miles I think it's worth it if, if you can get it at a good price and you have the money to put into major repairs or, or the maintenance of it and I would say a baseline would be 10 15 20 thousand um, dollars and if you got a brand new truck you still want to have some kind of maintenance reserve but uh, the chances of it likely having a major failure are less likely not that it's not that it won't happen, but it's less likely. So it's all up to personal choice. Me, I'm an older truck guy because I've had more experience with. I've had brand new trucks. I've had, like I said, a million mile trucks, and I've never really had major issues with either one. As a mechanic, all of those trucks was in the shop, so <laughs> so it's like hard to say what what's good for you. But that's it for this video. I just want to give you a perspective on mileage. Don't be scared of high mile trucks, and don't be scared of taking a risk on you know your business when it comes to getting a truck that could potentially pay off in the long run because if you can get a truck that's paid off within a year or even you can buy straight up cash if you can get six months out of that truck well yeah that pr truck pretty much paid for itself and it allows you to build up a enough uh reserve that you can probably keep that truck running so that's it for this video got some value out of it like it share it subscribe to my channel and uh that's it. Talk to you soon.